Dear students, how are you all? Today I am going to take the one small part of continuation of derivatives. It is not connected to derivative, but it is there in NCRT syllabus as a part of the derivative. So, and uh, one more important thing is, out of these two concepts, one question is sure for okay, three marks in final exam. Three marks, hundred percent, you will get one of these two concepts. Okay. So listen. First concept is a Rolle's theorem. Okay. In detail, it is not there in NCRT syllabus. You are going to learn these two concepts again in detail in engineering mathematics. Okay. So, you just the code. Just introduction code here because you are going to use in engineering. So, introduced in second PUC. So, I will explain first the statement. Okay. Geometrically as well as by taking one example. Similarly, one more also the mean value theorem which is also first statement explained geometrically and taking example. After that, exercise problems. Okay. Huh. First statement, Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem. The statement is let f from closed interval a comma b to r be a continuous in the closed interval a comma b and differentiable in the open interval a comma b such that f of a is equal to f of b. Then there exists one c between a and b such that f dash of c is equal to zero. In other words, ita hundred percent arta gala. So to understand this sentence. You how to understand this geometrically? Okay, this geometrical approach is right? statement. Solve part that is. You must tell it. It's called better. Either in detail in Bacon till second PC. But introduce more than that. Explain more than that. So don't worry more about the sentence meaning. Try to understand as much as possible through this geometrical approach. Okay, listen now. I'll consider one curve. I'll consider one curve. It must be okay. Continuous, continuous meaning of the delta. Ha. And then there is no break in the interval, and it must be differentiable in the interval. A comma B. Differentiable, and then no. It must be a smooth curve. It must be a smooth curve in the interval. A comma B. Illa na the break kaan chidiya. Illa. So it is continuous. Any sudden changes are there? No. So it is differentiable. So here two conditions satisfy aga tha. Inon condition the important condition for this Rolle's theorem. F of A must be equal to f of b and right what is f of a this is a this is f of a alba this is f of a so f of b and agathe see same thing so when all the three conditions satisfies you have the continuous differentiable as well as f of a is equal to f of b then this statement says that there exists at least one c between a and b there exists at least one c the open interval a and b such that f dash of c is equal to zero. F dash of C is equal to zero. There are meaning in it. What do you okay? What is F dash of X represent for a curve? It represents slope of the tangent. Tangent in the case of the it represents slope of the tangent. If slope of any line is equal to zero, then what about that line? What is the characteristic of that line? That line is always parallel to. X axis. So f dash of c is equal to zero implies, you know, tangent is tangent is parallel to x axis. So this theorem says that when all the three conditions satisfies, there exists a tangent to this curve between this interval a comma b such that the line is the tangent is parallel to x axis. Is the application as I told you are going to learn engineering mathematics. The lilla okay in this second piece, this application is not there. Just understand this sentence. The statement says that when all the three conditions satisfies, there exists at least one tangent parallel to x-axis. A step here, you can okay? just see the electrodes go away. Now I'll explain this concept again through one example. This is a geometrical approach. This is a sentence statement. Example state. Rolls theorem in the bar bodo, so be ready to write the sentence or the statement. Okay, see why this condition is important. All that also I will tell you. Suppose this curve is like this. Suppose he give a curve. Suppose a given curve is like this. Whether this curve satisfies Rolls theorem? Okay, take one interval like this, a to b. Okay, in interval only curve smooth change there. Continue, there's no break. It is continuous and differentiable in the both interval. There's no doubt in that. But there is in okay the third condition fails. But the the third condition fails. What is the third condition? F of A is here. F of B is here. Is it equal? 
definitely not equal because it never coincide here so for this type of curve for this type of curve rolls theorem does not hold rolls theorem hold up because eh? continuous agirbeko differentiation agirbeko as well as f of a must be equal to f of b if f of a is not equal to f of b in this case you can say definitely rose theorem does not hold so in exam you will get one question of this kind state rose theorem and verify rose theorem how can you diagram bar yudala adakku one method ide that i will explain through example 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 guarantee keltara one question and please state rose theorem and verify rose theorem diagram geometrically in the state general like bari bodu aste problem banda kashta agutte illi hold agutte it does not hold the reason is not any discontinuity or not any non differentiable the condition is f of a is not equal to f of b nen pele ee condition satisfy agilladru rose theorem does not hold now I'll take one example. I'll show you how to verify for the given function whether Rolle's theorem holds or not. For example, if f of x is equal to x square and interval is minus one to one, so now you are going to check without writing the diagram, without writing any graph. Okay, I'll show you how to verify whether Rolle's theorem holds or not. Okay, first thing check mark beko continuous. Ha, huh, you know about this curve, the idea curve. It represent parabola. Correct now. Okay, it represents open upwards parabola. So because of this, x square is continuous. No doubt in that. Parabola is continuous now. Continuous any in any interval. Ado close interval agirli, open interval agirli. It is continuous. As well as what is f dash of x? F dash of x is 2x, and it is always belongs to R for all x belongs to R. So that means, ha? Huh, what does this implies? F of x is you know differentiable. It is. differentiable it is differentiable in any interval so it must be differentiable in the open interval also idu idu you know minus 1 to 1 idu enagutte open interval minus 1 to 1 so eradu condition satisfy agide correct in and third condition f of a what is a minus 1 what is f of b plus 1 f of minus 1 enagutte minus 1 whole square andre no answer 1 f of 1 1 square it is also One. So what does this implies? This implies f of minus one is equal to f of one. So differentiable continuous satisfies to differentiability satisfies to even third condition satisfies. Then according to the statement, there must be one c such that f dash of c is equal to zero. How to get that? Ha! Huh. Differentiate. Already I think it is done. Yes, two x. Alva. So this implies what is f dash of c? 2c. Suppose if I assume that this is equal to zero, why I should assume? The state statement says that such that f dash of c is equal to zero. Assume that f dash of c is equal to zero. So this implies what will happen? 2c is equal to zero. This implies c is equal to zero. Now check whether the c is belongs to that interval. Yeah, interval minus one to one. Is it c belongs to open interval minus one to one? If it is s, hundred percent rules theorem holds. If it is no. Rolle's theorem does not hold. Answer is S. So what is the conclusion? Rolle's theorem, Rolle's theorem holds. As to finish. So इधर नहीं किया था exam के state Rolle's theorem and verify Rolle's theorम. As to ये किया था इतनी जास्ती योजना मार ले खूब पढ़े no need to. Okay. So please remember state Rolle's theorem and verify Rolle's theorem is an important question. Like that. We have one more theorem. Okay, almost similar to the previous one. Don't worry. Easy to verify also. Okay. The statement of the next theorem or the name of the theorem is mean value theorem. Okay. First, I'll state. I'll explain that geometrically. Then, just like this, I'll take one example to okay explain again the same sentence. Okay. So next one, mean value theorem. What is the statement? Observe carefully. Let f from a to b to r be a continuous function. That rolls there are many to other. In the closed interval a comma b, differentiable in the interval a comma b. Then there exists c belongs to a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a. Is there a formula to consider? Marthe, okay, remember that. Ha. Huh. Again, okay. If you just read this sentence, you may not understand anything in this. Okay. So I'll explain this sentence geometrically. Observe this carefully. Let me consider one curve like this. In general, okay, y is equal to f of x. Any gap is there in this graph in the interval a to b? 
definitely no i hope you can see that is it this curve is smooth in the interval a comma b yes so it is continuous as well as differentiable in the respective intervals it is continuous as well as differentiable in the respective interval now this theorem says that there exists at least one c between the interval such that f dash of c okay f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a now i will explain what is the meaning of this formula observe carefully f dash of c and renagata it is nothing but slope of the tangent so f dash of c ide ant helidre definitely there is a tangent to the curve at x is equal to c so this is a tangent to the curve at x is equal to c idra coordinates enagutte tell me what are the coordinates of this point b comma f of b idra coordinates enagutte a comma f of a idra point join madi en karte what we call this line this line is called chord right now observe carefully i'll explain the meaning of this what does f dash of c represent slope of the tangent right no it represent slope of the tangent correct na this tangent ha huh. now what is f of b minus f of a represent can you tell me you saw this in first pc what is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a represent did you remember ha huh. you, you have a line and you know called two points on that okay now it is just like y to y coordinate of the second point minus y coordinate of the first point divided by x x coordinate of the second first uh, second point sorry and minus x coordinate of the first point e formula ellar nodidira nenpira ha very good what is represent slope of the line this represent slope so this represent actually slope of the tangent slope of the sorry chord slope of the chord so this formula explains that when all these conditions satisfies there exists a tangent which is always parallel to the chord again as i told this you are going to learn in detail in engineering mathematics idarkin jaasti you tala ketskolike hogbedi illi nimge eshtu en gotirbek helidre this theorem is a proof of existence of the parallel tangent to the chord andre chord idde irutte karuvige this says that this theorem says that there exists at least one tangent parallel to this chord artha aitha on 30% artha agirabodu it's okay enough that is more than enough idin jaasti tala ketskolike hogbedi now the next task is important the next task is important that you are going to check whether this statement satisfies or not for the given problem for the given function that task is important idin jaasti detail agi tala ketskolike hogbedi okay let me take one example f of x is equal to 2x square interval is 1 to 4 now i will show you how to check whether this function satisfies mean value theorem or not okay first in task check whether it's continuous or not f of x is equal to 2x square actually what it represent it represent parabola it represent parabola so that this implies it must be continuous because every parabola is continuous everywhere f of x is continuous no doubt in that in the closed interval 1 to 4 what is f dash of x 4x what is 4x represent polynomial and every polynomial is continuous everywhere so this implies f dash of x or f of x is differentiable continuous as well as differentiable okay it is differentiable where everywhere is differentiable so it must be differentiable in the interval 1 to 4 it is continuous as well as differentiable in the respective interval now find out f dash of c okay using this formula and check whether that c belongs to the 1, 1, 1,4 what is f dash of c 4c f of b en agat heli 2 into 4 square 16 16 into 2 32 32 minus 2 2 into 1 okay 2 4 minus 1 and right 30 by 3 10 so c is equal to 10 by 4 approximately 2 point ha huh? 2 times 2 is remaining so 2.5 
5 by 2 that is 2.5. Now is it this 2.5 belongs to open interval 1 comma 4? Is it 2.5 belongs to open interval 1 comma 4? Yeah, right. So it belongs to the interval. So the statement says that okay this, this statement says that this function satisfies mean value theorem in the interval 1 to 4. So write, write the conclusion that mean value theorem holds. First time. So examine Higbar Atele state mean value theorem and verify mean value theorem. It is just a bacon zilla. So please remember this is it from this so small concept but one work is remaining under this heading that is the exercise problems. I hope you understood. Thank you.